I wouldn't call it so much exciting as a bit morbid. And we've got a honeybee here. This is an African honeybee with their pollen sacs on their feet, just or on its feet, just absolutely bursting. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you this honeybee was because this week, for the first time in the history of this planet, at least while humans have been so dependent on honeybees, um, there's a species of honeybee that's been added to the endangered species list, the rusty-backed bumblebee in uh, the US um, has just been added to the endangered species list. Now, to put it into perspective, honeybees are responsible for pollinating, just like you saw that honeybee there, moving from flower to flower, covered in the pollen of other grasses. They respond, they're responsible for pollinating a lot of plants out here, and for the most part, they're responsible for pollinating all of the grasses that we see as food. And in some cases, for tomatoes, for instance, they are the sole pollinators of tomatoes. So just think about every time you have a nice sandwich with a bit of tomato on it, or a nice salad with some tomato in it, that's because of the actions of bees. And because of climate change, uh, because of pesticides, because of habitat destruction, etc., etc., honeybee populations across the globe are in decline. And for the first time, a study has conclusively shown that a particular species of honeybee has been added to the endangered species list, which is a worry. What can you do about this global phenomenon? Well, it's about the same as trying to stop a comet. I don't think there's much that we can do, except for one thing. Uh, plant a bunch of indigenous trees if you can, plant a bunch of indigenous grasses if you can, and make sure that interspersed amongst some of your plants are natural insect repellents. So plants that uh, are, are naturally uh, repellent to insects, uh, insect pests, that should reduce the need for you to spray your garden with pesticides and hopefully will save uh, one or two more bees for one or two more years longer. All right, but uh, what we're going to try and do is find two woodland kingfisher that were just making their way across this gap over here. And the reason for that is very similar to how the impala are going into the rut um, and how we are, well, not seeing any more of the Wahlberg's eagle or lesser spotted eagles around. The seasons are changing right here, right now. And uh, these woodland kingfishers will be the last few days that we can actually show them to you. Before